the biggest holdups of becoming a professional travel planner is knowing where to start and then what to do next. I am here to make the process completely transparent by sharing my timeline, the complete flow to my award-winning planning process. In order to be competent, you need to be prepared to take the first call from a client and know exactly what you want to say. Start by creating a custom questionnaire template with all of the questions that you want to ask. The more detailed your initial consultation, the more thoughtful, organized, and confident you appear. The last thing you want is to have to call back two or three times. I forgot to ask you this, or I forgot to ask you that. Keep your questionnaire handy next to your desk, in your Google Drive, Somewhere it's always accessible when a new client calls or you begin that initial consultation. And just as important, when your guests are answering the questions, take detailed notes and always type their answers into their profile in your CRM instead of a notepad or sticky note. That way you always know where to find the important information for this trip and any upcoming trips to ensure you are giving seven star service. Having all of your clients' personal information and travel history at hand, you will impress repeat clients with details of their past trips, when, where, and how they traveled, even personal information you've noted about their family and special events. Things like how many nights they vacationed and how much they spent helps you qualify your clients even if they can't give you an exact budget. Did they purchase travel insurance? What airport did they depart from? Did they upgrade their room category? Did they purchase VIP airport service? Did they request an aisle seat? Do they have specific frequent traveler accounts? And even remembering that little Tommy had his tooth out last month. Knowing these details will help your clients feel they are in good hands. Take screenshots while you research and paste them into a Word or Google Doc for referencing your findings to support your offers during your Zoom or recorded video presentation, better known as the vacation reveal. How many times have you offered a price and itinerary to a client, they accept your offer, and when you go to book it, it doesn't exist? And you're thinking, was I imagining it? Did I transpose the information? Or did the schedule and fare just change? Well, wonder no more. With screenshots of all of your searches, you can breeze through the research process, analyze the best options for your guests, put together an amazing presentation full of all of your findings, and look like a rock star when presenting it to your clients to help them in making an informed decision. Remember, a confused mind always says no. Use an electronic reservation form or gather a picture of the ID guests will use upon check-in. Use this information to put the reservation on hold and create urgency by communicating a deposit deadline to secure the trip. Name changes can be costly and airline tickets are non-transferable. Always get full legal names as they appear on the ID you will be using at check-in and get them in writing. Better yet, ask your clients to bring their passports to your vacation reveal. This is a great way to remind your clients that you are here to do business and book their trip. When they come to the vacation reveal ready to book, they're more likely to do so. Transposing a letter or name is the number one error made by travel agents and it costs them hundreds if not thousands of dollars to make right. Getting the client's names in writing, using an electronic reservation form completed by the guest, or having them text or email a picture of their ID or passport eliminates liability on your part. Having their names and dates of birth early on ensures that you can act fast, hold a reservation, and protect the fare as soon as the guest is ready to book their trip. Always send a copy of the final reservation itinerary for formal approval. Sending this through your CRM will help with reservation accuracy and will protect you from liability. Did you know that getting a yes, I want to book that or yes, that is correct or yes, charge my card email will not stand up in court? Most travel CRMs have an automated way to send an electronic copy of the itinerary and get an electronic signature that will hold up in court if your client changes his or her mind or challenges your actions later. Always send a payment invoice receipt to your client within 24 hours of applying payment 
to a reservation. A transaction can often be voided within 24 hours if a mistake is recognized in time. In some states, it is illegal not to send a receipt of payment within 24 hours of a transaction. And in the travel industry, this holds even more weight because we usually have a 24-hour window of time to void a transaction as if it never happened. But once the 24-hour period is passed, most deposits and payments are non-refundable. Create a list of things that you want to do for your booked guests and apply reminders. Many CRMs allow you to create a batch of reminders that you add to a trip with a click of a button. Check this out. Once my clients book, I click a button and all of these reminders auto-populate into their booking. Once I hit apply, all of these reminders will appear on my CRM dashboard, the backbone of my travel business, with a due date. No more waking up in the middle of the night, did I do this, did I remember to do that? It's next to impossible to share all of your travel experience and vacation tips in one conversation. It would be complete overload for your clients. Many CRMs allow you to create and schedule a batch of emails that become valuable touch points once your clients have booked. Sit down and list everything you want to tell your clients to prepare them for their trip. Things to see and do, recommended places to dine, do they need an adapter for their electrical outlet? How much money to bring? Do they need to exchange currency? Local customs and traditions and so much more. Once you've created these emails or recorded these videos once, you never have to do it again. As you can see here, I just click a button and all of the information and advice is communicated to my guests in a timely manner. No more sitting upright in bed in the middle of the night thinking, did I tell him he needs a passport? Did I remind him that it has to be valid for six months? Did I tell him about that cute little market in town square or the best place to get a gelato in town? It's all there and you just keep building and bettering your templates as travelers share their feedback and you increase your awareness. This takes time up front creating email templates and recording videos, but doesn't compare to how much it pays off down the road. Free time, here you come. Add your client's trip to an app like Travify that guests can download for free so they have all of their travel information and documents at their fingertips before and during travel. Who doesn't love having access to their complete itinerary and all of their travel documents online and offline? When someone says, when do you leave? Where are you going? What time does your flight arrive? Or when they're in destination and wondering where that tour meeting point is. It's all there and let me tell you, guests love it. Have a conversation to prepare your guests for departure. Remember previously in this video when I talked about the automated email templates? All of my guests receive an automated email invitation through my CRM a couple of weeks prior to their departure, inviting them to schedule time with me to review their travel documents and prepare them for their trip. You can have this meeting by phone when their documents are in the app. There will be, of course, mature guests that may prefer that you deliver printed travel documents. During this meeting, go through each travel document and the complete itinerary in detail. Finish up by reviewing a VIP letter you will have previously created using a script and template. This VIP letter is to be sent to the host hotel approximately one week prior to guest arrival and serves several purposes. The VIP letter is to reconfirm their arrival date, their arrival time in case an early check-in may be appreciated, their confirmed room category, and any special requests the guests may have or special occasions they're celebrating during their trip. This is the time for guests to add any special requests for the resort or forever hold their peace. While special requests should always be documented in the record at the time of booking, it's always a good idea to send this VIP letter to the reservation manager and the sales manager one week prior to the guest arrival to ensure their wishes are not overlooked. Reach out to your clients during travel, preferably on day two, to make sure they're settled in nicely and everything is as expected. You'll have the opportunity to make it right if not. I like to send a quick text. Welcome to Aruba. Is everyone treating you well? Then they have your text number handy in case you can be of assistance and you can sleep well knowing they arrived safely and are happy with their vacation choice. Listen, I'm preparing to share my award-winning seven-star service formula where I walk you through each step in depth, setting you up for success. If this is something you are interested in, get on our wait list at 7-starservice.com. That's 7-starservice.com. Happy travels!